Speaking of money though, Narcotic, Lil Nars, it's actually one of the most successful brands in the rap industry, I feel like. It's a little bit underground. Nar uh, Lil Nar, by the way, signed to Chief Keef recently. So big ups to him. But I'm not gonna lie, from seeing these pictures, Lil Nar definitely got, got exposed for, for stealing shit. A lot of these newer brands, they just be taking the designs from Nike, Adidas, whatever. You, you get inspired or whatever. All these big designer companies steal from each other as well, but they know how to differentiate it just enough where they're not getting caught up uh, stealing their flow. But anyway, Lil Nar is getting sued by Nike for trademark infringement. I think it's just a cease and desist wherein he just has to stop making it but these pictures are pretty criminal man so here's narcotic it does look like the nike S he even did the sb man you can't if you're gonna do narcotic like people already know that you're a skateboarder so why put the sb also the, he's just blatantly stealing the the nike symbol let's be real and you're saying they stole bape i don't know what they did but if you're a big company like nike or adidas or whatever you're suited up with lawyers. You could, they're probably confident in me. Like, fuck y'all. You guys want to sue us? We got Nike, I think, is the biggest brand in the world. Like, what's up? Let's let's go to the courtroom, bro. Try us. So people just don't even want to touch them. Bella, leave the room. I, have, I need a second opinion. Do you? I'm working. Well, maybe, can we, no, yeah, leave. Can we no. So what are you doing? What? Come here. What? Come on. I can't pick which one. The square toe that are comfier. Can they see them? The square toes are comfier, but they're kind of ugly. No, the the pointy ones. But they hurt. Okay, pointy ones. What are you doing? I, I need a second opinion. You couldn't just wait? No, because I need her to... My God. Fucking women, bro. Anyway. Y'all got the point. Here is the original design though. Nike looks like this. Narcotic looks like this. They literally just replaced the end of the swoosh or whatever you want to call it with a butterfly. They even stole like the, the crackly asphalt, whatever you want to call that. The, I'm not a shoe guy. The rims. <laughs> He even stole the bottom of the shoe. Although it does look like it's a Chinese knockoff. You can see the curvature here. You know, you curve 90 degrees to the left, like my dick right here. It doesn't curve as much. Although I feel like I, I, I hope mine goes back to normal. It's been hurting lately, but it is rip off dunks for sure. Okay, let's see what Nike said. Narcotics conduct constitutes trademark infringement false designation of origin, unfair competition, and trademark dilution. So basically like, yo, you're ripping off our sh our style and you're making it look buns. If not stop, narcotics illegal conduct will undermine Nike's control over its brand, business, reputation, and associated goodwill, which has spent decades building. Basically saying, you're defaming our brand. You're making us look like trash. Cause now our design is gonna start getting ripped off by all these Chinese motherfuckers. And they're start selling it. A lot of people are gonna start drop shipping new shoes, not with butterflies, but cockroaches in the middle of it. And then we're gonna have to make a whole new design that costs millions of dollars. Fuck you. Nike has attempted to reach a resolution with Narcotic that does not involve the continued th theft of Nike's designs. During these discussions, Narcotic made representations that it would cease among other things, selling products that infringe Nike's intellectual property. Any hope that Nike and Narcotic could reach an amicable resolution to Narcotic's infringement ended with Narcotic's announcements on a social media account that it intended to sell the Narcotic SB's V2 concrete sneakers on Black Friday. Oh, so Lil Nar probably had a discussion with Nike. They said, yo, stop doing this. And then he was probably just trying to sell the stock. I would think I'm trying so hard to not mention what I did to Bella. What did I do to her? She came in here disrupting our conversation over some fucking boots. Asked me 
if they were if we should she would should blah, 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 should wear pointy toe or square and now y'all are pissed at me a little mean imagine you're working out and somebody says hey which piece of cake do you like better you're like fuck out of here what are you doing she disturbed the boys the yes exactly y'all don't know grow some nuts disrupting the the whole stream this is my job can't just walk into somebody's office without knocking she didn't even knock just started opening the doors like it was my ass cheeks last night no sir that's not how we do things